Welcome back to another soap review. This is part two of a two video series on the new Summer Break Soap scents. Summer Break Soaps is new to the scene around you know two months or so and I think this is their fifth and sixth scents. Last time I did Picture Day which was a Lavender Forward Barbershop scent that I really liked a lot. Um, and this one is Field Day and it is meant to reflect like a, a sp it's a springtime scent. It's meant to be like you know the freshness of a, of a rain that has just fallen on the grass like out in the, like a soccer field or you know what have you. And so um, it's it's fresh, but it's earthy at the same time, but it's also very polite about it. So let me just say thank you to Keith for uh, trusting me enough to uh, review his soaps and to be kind enough to send me two of them. So let's get on with the shave and I'll get to the uh, scent description. Don't go away. All right, blow to the brush. It's a synthetic silver tip 24 millimeter. Um, this is, is, if you don't remember from the last video, if you didn't watch it, this is a softer soap. It's, made, it's really easy for loading. I just supposed to put a little bit, like a, a nickel sized amount in a bowl, and I'm not, I've not used it all. I've used about half of it. I've got about four days of growth, so I'm using more than I normally would. But um, it's very pliable, but it's not a crop. So you can load easily. Look, it's already going on really well. I've not even built it yet. And it's a tad thirsty, so just keep adding water until you get it to the consistency that you want it to be, which is, uh, I would say it's about Cool Whip. And as far as the scent goes, like I said, it's fresh on top, which is something I normally don't like. Um, I'm just not big on fresh aquatic scents. But this one quickly gives way to a kind of polite petrichor. Um, you smell the vetiver, the grassy smell, and uh, there's some dirt in there too, but it's not obnoxious and it's not, it's not dank, it's not like a, you know, foul or whatever, swampy. Now, like when I think swampy, I think of Holland Glen by Talbot. I really like it, but it's it takes some getting used to. It's super strong. This is very uh, light, so I would say like out of the container, the sense is about a five, and it expands to about a um, I think it goes to about a six, and it, the grass comes out much more and joins that fresh water accord or aquatic accord on top, and just mixes very well. The earthiness kind of goes away too a little bit. So if you like fresh scents and you like vetiver, I'd say definitely give this one a try. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it actually much more than I did in my first impression of it. Um, I would still say that Picture Day is my favorite of these two, but this is very nice. And I've, I've kind of uh, come around to earthier type of scents. Um, I've never tried Bear Stern Man Petrichor, but I want to. Um, but I, to my understanding, that one's a lot more like black, wet soil. And this one is not so much. It's just barely there. The grass is much more present. It's a new grass smell. So it's very, very much a perfect type of spring scent. It's a very much what you would um, experience if you went onto like a soccer field after the grass is you know newly grown and there's a fresh rain in April and um, I would say that th it is pretty authentic and more natural smelling and I don't really get much of a fake oil like fragrance oil smell you know some sometimes uh, you'll get scents that are replicating nature but they just don't quite get it it's just kind of tacky smelling and this isn't that at all in my opinion we've got about four days gross so I used a little more um, soap that I that did last time. I'm just adding water to make sure it's slick because um, I've got more substantial growth and plus I'm using a feather blade and a mild head today so I do not want to uh, uh, burn my face up so I want to make sure this is uh, dialed in correctly. I've adjusted the lighting a little bit so you should be able to see the, the lather on my face a lot better. And it's just pretty effortless and, and I'm, it feels good on the face. You know, face feel, you know what, we don't really we don't really talk about that so much in the videos or give it a score, but face feel, you know, some soaps just feel different as you're putting them on, and this has a very nice feel to it. You feel like you feel it kind of soaking into your skin, and um, which is what I liked about the Prohibition style soap that I recently, um, uh, that I reviewed last week. It had an excellent face feel, and uh, so if you keep adding water to it, it's just gonna it's gonna feel great like that. All right, I think that's enough. Let's get on with the. Uh, actual mowing down of this stuff. All right, 
like I said before, earlier, it's like a Merker, like DE 89 head, um, something, I mean, of that sort, and it's got a feather blade in it. Buttery smooth glide. It's actually performing a little better than it did last time because I think I used more water today. Just comes with experience. You know I trust a soap when I use a feather blade because I don't use them very often. And uh, I would say overall, this soap very much reminds me, and I said this last time, it very much reminds me of a storybook and a Mickey Lee Soapworks bases. They're all similar in consistency and ease of lather and in their overall performance and look. And what I mean by look, I mean the way that I lather looks, it's consistency, it's sheen, all of those type of things. So, so far I'm having a much better shave than I did the other day and that, that shave was no snooze. I'll, I had a very enjoyable shave. Um, even though I like the scent of that one a little better, this one, um, it just goes to show that when you play around with your products, you know, sometimes you'll have a bad shave and that could be for any number of reasons. But sometimes, you know, it's because you don't have use the proper amount of water either too much or too little. And uh, it's always important to factor in. Sometimes these one-off reviews that we do um, aren't adequate. So I'm glad I was able to try a different soap and you know, give the, two, give the, the, the soap base itself uh, two reviews. May even bump some of it up, to be honest. It's uh, the water the addition of the uh, the additional water that I use this time it makes it uh, feel even better. So that's awesome. Living proof. If you go over to uh, <laughs> if you go over to Cooper and French's website, and you know um, if you've watched my previous video um, using their soap, I really think highly of that soap base. Well, the particular soap that I reviewed, I gave it a pretty high score, and there's a guy on there who gave it I think two or three stars and said it just wasn't slick enough. Didn't use enough water. Gotta use enough water, man. Can't make rash decisions like that. Sometimes we know when something's bad, but not always. This is uh, excellent. I don't need I don't need a touch up or anything like that. So I think I'm good to go. Be back with my final thoughts. So I've just finished the shave. Um, I did two full passes, as you saw, with a feather blade. I ran that soap through the ringer and absolutely no irritation. It's been a long time since I've used a feather blade with no irritation. And not only that, I was able to get this whole thing down in two passes, which is crazy. I usually have to do some cleanup. So that stuff really helped my razor do its work. Zero sting from the aisle. I don't need a post-shave product. Everything on it was, you know, stellar. I used more water this time and it was even better shave than last time. So I'm very impressed with this soap. Uh, this soap is fine at 375 an ounce. It's a steal. Um, you know, under, in my opinion, under $4, uh, $4 or under is a good deal. So for you. All in all, this, this including the scent, a, a a stellar addition to the fresh, like outdoorsy scents without being abrasive. This is a very user friendly scent. Um, I, I have to give this my full recommendation. If you liked all of those things, you should absolutely try this soap out for yourself. So like and subscribe if you haven't, and please comment below if you have any questions about this soap that I left out, um, or if you have your own experiences with it that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear from you. Um, stay tuned for next time. I'll be using Cicadies Bubble Scent House since you out. Um, the, the group that I'm in is having a Katie's Bubbles Day, so I'm excited to try that out for the first time. It's very good out of the jar, so can't wait to use that one. I'll see you then, so until next time. <laughs>